वेलकम बैक टू डी स्टूडियो एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्रूड रिएक्ट नेटिव स्टार किट सो दिस इज अ स्टार किट विच हैज अ प्री डिफाइंड फंक्शनैलिटी बंच ऑफ पैकेजेस दैट वी आर फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज इन साइड रिएक्ट नेटिव मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन सो लेट मी टेल यू द स्टोरी बिहाइंड दिस लाइक फ्रॉम वेयर आई गोट दिस मोटिवेशन टू क्रिएट दिस रिएक्ट नेटिव स्टार किट so when i was fresher you can say when i was junior or i started my development with react native and um, that time i was uh, learning code writing some code but i was not uh, that much confident or I, i was not happy because i was not sure like what i am writing it's uh, okay and what are what are the folders that i am following or uh, what are the packages i'm using is it like correct one or not so on that time i used to think like if someone uh, who is you know uh, react native uh, experience react native developer can, can share uh, something like this like start kit with me so it will be very easy for me so after you know learning facing issues fixing issues and spending four or five years on react native now i i thought like i should create something uh like this like start kit for a junior developer or fresher who just started a development with react native and they are not going to face uh, the same issue that i'm i was facing at that time so that's why i uh, created this uh, uh groot react native start kit so in this video i'm going to discuss what are those features that this uh, start kit has and uh, what are the upcoming features that i'm going to uh you know add in this start kit in future so if you haven't subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button so you will get the notification uh, for up my upcoming videos okay so let's quickly discuss about the top feature of this react native start kit so for that like you just need to open this medium blog so i have uh, provided the link of this blog inside the description so you can open from that and let's quickly uh, go through from this uh, top top feature so first is folder structure so it will give you complete folder structure that you should have inside your project so first like how assets constants navigation folder redux screens util so you can uh, open this and uh, check how i have uh, added this like screens inside that like we have onboarding then screen inside that we have redux uh, files as well so you can now uh, go through from this uh, and uh, check how i have created this uh, folder structure for this and uh, after that second is image icon file structure so for that like you can see i have put all the animation fonts and icon in, inside asset folder and to access this you just need to open uh, uh, this uh, index.js file and inside that i have uh, you know exported all the images icons whatever you know we need for the project and then uh, we have uh, this icon.js file so i have you know uh, exported all the uh, files assets from assets folders you can export here so this is all about the icons and uh, images uh, file structure and after that we have a navigation basic structure so yeah this uh, start kit you will get complete navigation structure from the starting so for example you can see here Uh, we have a main navigator we have exported here and you can see like we have a navigation container inside that we have stack navigator and then we have uh, added all the screens here for example welcome login and sign up screens so this is the basic uh, navigation structure that you don't need to create every time you can uh, simply add this starter kit and uh, you can start working you can replace your screen here uh, after that we have a root navigation so you can you don't need to pass props or navigation prop every time from one screen to next screen you can directly uh, get it using navigation ref so this is all about the navigation uh, basic uh, rake navigation structure so i have already created the videos on this so you just need to simple search decoding studio here and uh, you will get all the videos so so let's uh, quickly uh check the videos so mm, okay so you can open a playlist as well so inside playlist you will get this uh, react navigation v5 now and uh, so you can uh, uh start uh, watch this navigation if you want or if you already familiar then uh, it's good for you so you can directly use uh, navigation uh, from here and then uh, we have a uh, uh, multi language support so again this is a, a big thing and i have already created a video on this uh, so let's see uh, you can say multi language support in react native so you can watch this video if you are not familiar with the multi language support again multi language support so for uh, maybe you will say like uh, this is not necessary for your project but you should keep multi language support inside your project it has a two reason first you will have all the string in a separate file and later whenever you want to 
change any static string, then do, you can di directly go there and you can change. Uh, second is maybe right now you don't need any uh, multi-language support in your project, maybe, but when your project will grow and in future, that definitely you will uh, feel the need of multi-language or your client or your project manager say like, yeah, we need to uh, you know provide multi-language support. So you can do it uh, without major efforts. But if you are using a uh, React Native Starter Kit, Groot React Native Starter Kit, then definitely you don't need to um, do the integration. It will be automatically uh, uh, done for you in this uh, kit. And uh, from here, like you can see like whatever language you are going to support for multi-language, then uh, it will be, you need to provide all the text here. For example, French here and English. If you don't, you don't want multi-language, then you can keep a single language. Okay. So let me show you how we are doing this uh, continuous case. You can see multi-language. So English, and if I'm going to change this to French, and you can see all the things are changed. Here, it's also changed. So you can again change to English, and everything will be in English. So this is a multi-language support that you're going to have in this in React Native uh, circuit. And then we have a uh, loading animation. So again, uh, loading animation. So right now animation is quite tough, but if you're using a React, uh, if you're using loading animation, it's quite easy. It's just a JSON you need to import and uh, uh, it will start uh, visible. So here I have just created uh, this. You can see this is the loading animation. So you don't need to do anything. Uh, again, I have uh, uh, created one more video on loading animation. So all the integration is uh, included in this video. You can watch this video and uh, you can start implementing. But if you're using uh, our static, then it's uh, already there and you just need to add more animations. So this is a uh, welcome to JSON. So you can replace, uh, you can find more loti files, for example. Uh, so you just need to search here, uh, for example, um, success. You can download this JSON from here and uh, you can start using it. So this is as simple as it. And then this target has a Redux, uh, full Redux port as well. So if we talk about uh, <clears throat> Redux, then uh, it has a Redux implementation. So we have a uh, Redux uh, store here and all the Redux sagas and files. And then uh, I have divided into here in onboarding sign in, you will get the reducer saga. So you'll get all the, you know, uh, Redux implementation in this target kit. And again, I have created one more video on uh, Redux. So you will get uh, Redux uh, here, Redux. And you can watch this video and you'll learn about the Redux if you are not already familiar with it. That's all about uh, Redux. And uh, again, it has a Redux saga. If you are uh, new, then it's uh, just a middleware. And uh, uh, there's other middleware as, as well. For example, uh, Thun, uh observable and promises so these kind of uh, middleware but saga is something that is you know uh it's very popular among the all the react Native developers so you can use uh, saga like as per my understanding we should use saga so that's why i have provided support saga in this react native kit and then we have a font family so you just definitely um, you can change uh, like i have added a support for font family but you can change like whatever you want you just need to change here and uh, then uh, you can start using so that's all about this. And uh, after that, we have a bottom and top navigation. So again, as I've, uh, I've told you, like we have a navigation. So most of the apps right now, like uh, using bottom navigations and top navigations instead of drawers. So that's why I'm having, you just need to replace this icon and uh, you can start using your navigation. So it's a, like for that, I've used a, again, a very popular package named as a React Navigation. So that we are using for navigation as well. Like for here, we are using, we were using a React Navigation. So same navigation is used uh, here for both bottom and top navigations as well. Last but not the least, I have added uh, some login and sign up screen as well. This is a basic screen with the basic validations. So you can see this is the validation and you just need to enter for example, And uh, I'll submit, you can see this is logged in and this is the ID I have logged in, so it's here. And uh, sign up screen as well, same as login. So you'll get this uh, screen as well to start with. So this is the basic uh, 
you know uh, functionality that we have right now in starter kit you can start using and you can uh, enjoy the stuff and uh, i have you know bunch of bucket lists as well that uh, i'm going to implement in future so this is like auto import sport and uh, after that predefined common components so we'll add some component that's you know uh, frequently used in site react native mobile applications so yeah we'll add that as well and after that we'll have an api integration using it shows how we can call the get po get request post request and this kind of stuff we'll add uh, in that and then test and development, uh, component testing, unit testing, end-to-end -end testing will add this. So uh, basically this is a, a major requirement nowadays, like test and development should be there. So we'll do that. And CI CD pipeline push our build to the Google Play Store and App Store uh, uh, automatically and uh, share with your QA and uh, manager. So I'm going to create a separate uh, videos on, on this topic as well. Just subscribe to this channel for you know upcoming videos and uh, you can get it from there. Okay, so now we'll, we'll see like from where we can uh, download this uh, style kit source code and uh, what are the steps in order to you know implement uh, uh, that style kit inside your project you need to follow. So first of all, you just need to open uh, this uh, store.decodingstudio.com. So I'll provide this link uh, again inside the description box. You can uh, get it from there. And uh, you just need, you'll open uh, this. And after that, you can add to cart. Uh, maybe you just need to log in with your email ID and uh, password, and you can uh, download uh, it from here. And once you have downloaded this, it will have, uh, you know, uh, this readme file so whatever i have mentioned it will be in readme file and uh, so you'll get an app folder as well so it so what you need to do now uh so you'll get this app folder uh this app folder right once you download this uh, uh folder then uh in step two you, you just need to open this uh, react native.config.js file and uh, just copy paste this stuff here this files and uh, react uh, you just need to run a react native uh, link command it will link your fonts so uh, whatever you have uh, added here okay whatever fonts you have it will link to your projects and then you just need to open uh, babel uh, reanimated plugin so you just need to open babel.config.js file you need to open this babel.config.js file and you just need to again copy paste this uh, reanimated stuff it's required for you know uh, animations uh, kind of things and then we have uh, some dependency that we need, we have already installed so you just need to copy all of these uh, dependencies and just paste inside your package.json file here and after that uh, yeah you need to uh, run this command yan install and or npm if you're using npm and then you can uh, install ports using this command. Again, if you're using npx, then you can use port install iOS, otherwise cd iOS port install. And then delete app.js file from your project and uh, run your project in, in iOS and Android, and that's it. So this is how you can uh, uh, integrate StarterKit in a simple four or five step, I guess. You can uh, download it from a GitHub uh, as well. You don't forget to uh give a star here if you have anything that you want to include in the inside this starter kit in future then you can uh, write down a comment and uh, anything that you want to remove or uh, other you know suggestion you have you can also you know write down inside the comment box so that's all about uh, this uh, rake native start kit and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video as well